After logging in with your username and password, this is the first page that coaches will see. We are now going to enter in a season schedule, and to do that, you will click on the Team Schedule button on the right side. To enter a new game, click on the New Event button, and now we will begin to fill in the appropriate boxes. First, you want to enter the away team. In this example, we are going to use Parkway North as the away team. Next, you will fill in the home team, and in this instance, we are going to use Parkway South. Now if the game is at Parkway South, you do not need to fill in the site, but if the game is at a neutral site, you will need to fill this information in. So in this instance, we're going to say the game is at the Edward Jones Dome. So we will find that in the drop-down box and fill that in as the site. Next, you will fill in the date. When you click on the box, you will get the calendar popping up. We will switch to August and add this game in on August 23rd. Next, you will fill in the time. And in this instance, it's very important that you do put in a PM to indicate that the game is at night. So in this instance, we will put in 7 PM as the game time. Then finally, below that, you have to indicate what type of game this is. You have a few options there. And in this instance, we are going to choose non-league. Filling in all of that information, you will click on the schedule button again at the top of the page. And that will return you to your team schedule page. And you will now see that your new game is now included. Now to change info for an existing game, you will need to click on the edit button beside that particular game. So in this instance, we will change information on the Parkway North Oakville game. And we will change the date on that to September 7th. And once you have made that change, you will again click on the schedule button to return to your team's schedule page. This concludes our short instruction on how to enter a schedule.